TCDD, the Turkish State Railways, is developing a high-speed railway network connecting the main cities of the country by high-speed trains which will produce important environmental, economic and transportation benefits, more efficient mobility, business growth, energy savings and reduced environmental damage. To guarantee railway services meet the highest standard of quality and safety, it is essential that rolling stock is kept in a perfect state of efficiency and reliability. For that reason, dedicated plants are vital for maintenance of high-speed trains. TCDD assigned the project for the design of two maintenance plants for high-speed trains to Italfair, the engineering company of the Italian State Railways Group. Italfair has developed the entire design and construction cycle of Italian high-speed system, making it Italian's leading engineering company and one of the main players in the modernization and development of trans-European transport networks. The two Turkish maintenance plants are strategically located. A service maintenance plant for scheduled maintenance and repair in Istanbul is Pertakkule, while the main maintenance plant for scheduled and heavy maintenance and repair is at Ankara, sugar factory area. The two plants have been designed for the maintenance of more than 50 trains. The main maintenance plant of Ankara shall occupy about 29 hectares of a larger existing area in Etimesgud district near sugar factory site. The remaining area has been left available for future extensions and for new infrastructures such as a depot for EMU regional trains and planned high-speed railway station. The total covered area is approximately 39,000 square meters, out of which 33,500 square meters for workshops and sheds 3,000 square meters for offices and services and 2,500 square meters for technological buildings. A total of about 400 workers will be employed in the plant. The plant is connected to the existing road system by a service road of about one kilometer long which crosses the Ankara River with a three-span bridge. The new road connection has been designed to also serve the future EMU depot and the high-speed railway station. The maintenance plan contains all the structures and facilities needed for effective maintenance. A track equipped with underbody washing and washing tunnel for the external body. The washing tunnel is a brush drive-through washing unit and it consists of a sequence of modular stations dedicated to cleaning specific areas. Brushes for the sides, the roof of the roof fittings. Brushes for inclined fronts and rear. This equipment assures a quick and effective washing of trains. On the train body lifting track, the bogies are disconnected and operations of splitting up composition of rolling stock are performed before and after heavy maintenance. Heavy maintenance and general overhauling is performed in workshops A and B, which are connected by a traveling platform to transfer coaches inside the buildings. General overhauling aims at completely renovating the train carriages and the relative systems which is why the body is dismantled into each mechanical, pneumatic, electric and electronic components. Building E is the central storehouse with an area of about 1500 square meters and equipped with an atomized warehouse system. In front of the storehouse, an open shed is located for bogies and axle storage. Building H contains the underground wheel lathe. The underground wheel lathe can reprofile wheel sets without disassembly from rolling stock. For that reason, these lathes are up to date answer to the maintenance needs of the modern rolling stock. The vehicle is positioned over the underground lathe through connecting fixed rails and two parts of retractable rails which are retracted after the lifting of the wheel set. The lathe is controlled by a single station located in a pit in central position.
The kitchen is a 650 square meters building and it is properly equipped to cook on location all the food to be loaded on board or to store the already prepared food. Building C is the main train's maintenance workshop for scheduled and corrective maintenance and it is designed to contain the assembled train. It is a steel structure which covers an area of about 13,000 square meters. Inside, the workshop consists of six tracks, each 245 meters long, lifted on steel columns along with inspection pits. Each track is equipped with a crane for inspecting the roofs of the trains. In addition, the tracks of the workshop are equipped with dust exhaust system, lowering axle system, bogies lowering machine, rolling stock body lifting jacks for changing bogies. The lowering axle system is the equipment that allows the removal of wheel sets and maintains operation of equipment located on the train underbody without lifting the carriage body. When the lowering axle system is dropped, a lifting platform creates a free space under the rolling stocks to easily perform maintenance operations under the carriage body. The ultrasonic control of axles is a typical operation performed in the maintenance workshop. The equipment is provided with an arm which centers the axle hole in order to perform the ultrasonic inspection to find fatigue cracks. The tests are run by an automated program. The overhead crane for roof inspection has a mobile platform for staff transport which is necessary for the inspection of the roof of the carriage and for maintenance operations to be performed on the pantographs and on any equipment located on the roof. The bogies lowering machine allows the replacement of the bogies with the train in the normal gear position and without having to lift the carriage body. The entire structure allows the transfer of the bogey drop from the main track where the dismounting of the bogey wheel set takes place to the auxiliary or maintenance track by a tunnel for maneuvering. Building D is a three-story building for auxiliary services that shares the ground floor with Building C. All the ground floor is occupied with workshops and technical rooms. The first and second floors include 1,150 square meters for change rooms and restrooms, 800 square meters for offices and administrative personnel, 600 square meters for canteen. The Ankara maintenance plan has been dimensioned for the scheduled and corrective maintenance of about 30 to 35 trains and for the heavy maintenance of a whole fleet of more than 50 trains. The rail yard of the plan has 33 tracks for a total length of about 18.4 kilometers, 13 parking tracks, 4 tracks for catering, 4 tracks equipped for cleaning operations on vacuum-sealed toilets, 14 access tracks maintenance operations.